Gardner shot! Once again, Arnold with a glove save. As a goalie, Tracy Arnold is a key player for Team Canada. As a child growing up, that was always a dream for me. She loved playing stand-up hockey as a young girl, but at age 12, after a car accident, she was told she wouldn't walk again. I really missed it, and I was feeling I was missing a part of myself. More than two decades later, she took up para hockey and made the women's national team in 2019. When she was presented with her Team Canada sweater, it was a mix of joy and frustration. According to her coach, Hockey Canada gave the team jerseys with other players' names on them, originally made for the national women's stand-up team. It's quite disheartening and frustrating knowing that I put the time in and money and effort to be an elite athlete, to represent our country, and that I don't fit the mold of what the organizing body see, like deems as fit to do that. The women's team took silver at the first World Challenge competition back in August. Unlike the men's program, the women's team has to pay fully for their own travel costs and equipment. Even the coaches are volunteers. Hockey Canada does pay for insurance, registration and those jerseys. I would encourage them to do way more equity, diversity and inclusion work because I think that's totally going to turn the page on the sport and open up a whole new possibility of people who, who love the sport in Canada who just haven't yet felt like it's a space for them. Hockey Canada is at a crossroads, spurred by revelations that it had millions in reserve funds used to pay settlements for sexual abuse allegations. Tracy Arnold believes funding her team could send a message to Canadians. Women with disabilities we know are some of the most marginalized people in the world and if Hockey Canada can treat us in a way that promotes respect and equity, this would bode well for showing Canada that they can treat all people with respect and kindness. Hockey Canada declined an interview. In a statement, it says its mandate is to operate national teams that compete for world championships and participate in the Olympics and Paralympics. A milestone women's para hockey is still working toward. Carissa Donkin, CBC News, Fredericton.